Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is September 30th, 2015. Let's take a look at the charts. You're going to see here the S&P 500 E-mini futures are flying high this morning. They're trading up by about 20 points to 18.94.5 per contract. Now, while this looks like a big move, the reality of it is the market has been pounded into the ground as of late. And, um, you know, this is just a retrace, a little small retrace back up. So we'll see if the market can hold these gains today. But either way, uh, futures are up 20 points. We want to respect that at the moment. You also have uh, NASDAQ futures up about 52 points. So we'll see where that goes today. But that's another decent pop. So S&P and NASDAQ futures are trading sharply higher before the opening bell. Now, there was some economic data, I believe, out at 8.15 this morning. You did have the ADP job report. I think it came out with 200 plus uh, thousand, 200,000 plus jobs. So I, I, a decent report from what we could tell. But again, we really don't care too much about the news. We only care about the stocks in motion. Let's take a look at those today. We're going to start off with Gap Stores or Gap Inc. GPS is the ticker symbol. Stock right now is trading at around $28. Um, it looks like, I'm not sure the exact news here, but it looks like a CEO or an executive left from Old, Old Navy. We will have gap levels for this in the intraday stock chat room today. So if you want to come trade gap with us, come over. Take a seven-day free trial. You can trade right alongside of us. We will have gap levels for this one. Next stock that is on our radar today is going to be Costco. Costco came out with some news. I believe they had earnings or same-store sales or something. Looks like the stock is trading at $142.50. Closed at $143.72. Looks like they're saying they were hurt by low fuel prices. Either way, the stock is trickling down. This will be in play today. So again, um, we will be watching this one once the opening bell rings. And we'll see if we can find some levels there. A big mover today is Western Digital. This will be a gap play today as well if it can trade a little higher. Um, WDC uh, looks like they are getting, looks like somebody made a large investment, almost a $4 billion investment. They paid you know, a hefty premium to buy shares uh, above what the current price is. I don't know why anybody would do that, but either way, the company now owns a 15% stake in Western Digital. They are a Chinese firm, so we'll see how that plays out. I will have gap resistance points for this. In sympathy to Western Digital today, you can see the big move up as the stock is trading at around $79. You want to watch STX. This is the other disk, disk drive maker. Um, this stock was trading at 41.78 yesterday, now trading at 44 and a quarter right now. So STX, which is Seagate. Um, is trading sharply higher as well. We'll see how these play out, but they will both be in play today once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Barracuda. Ticker, ticker symbol is CUDA CUDA. And you're going to see this is trading at 1690. I do not have a level for this. This is a new all time low. This stock, I believe, debuted in November of 2013. The low back then was 1884, and it's now at 1690. So. I'm going to choose to leave Barracuda alone, but again, if you want to dabble in these waters with this uh, Barracuda, you can, um, but right now it is making a new all-time low. Very difficult. It is very difficult to pick out a level there. Let's take a look at Easy Chip. Easy CH is the ticker symbol here. <clears throat> Looks like this company is being bought out by Mellanox. So a lot of you may know that firm, MLNX, and uh, Mellanox is buying out Easy Chip, I believe for $25.50 a share. So if you own it, trail the stop loss or take your money off the table. If you do not own it, I would not be chasing it here. So again, uh, this is a takeover, a buyout. There's no sense to get involved in it now. Let's take a look at Ralph Lauren this morning. Ticker symbol is RL. And what you're going to see here is stock is trading at 111, uh, 11076 rather. But either way, it closed at 10405. So this is a pretty good move higher. Um, we hopefully will have some levels once the opening bell rings. Right now off the top of my head, when I look at this equity, I have to think around 112 and then really around 114. Those are your, your natural resistance points. But either way, great pop for Ralph Lauren this morning. We'll see where it goes once it opens up, but that will be in play today. Let's take a look at paychecks. Looks like they have earnings as well. Stock right now is trading at $47 on light, light volume. So can't make too much out of that, but we'll watch this one once the opening bell rings. And again, we got some stocks in motion today, and that's nice to see. We also have a big gap up in the market. So if we get some fades, there will be some 
nice trade trading opportunity. It's been a great week in the chat room. Come on over, take a seven-day free trial. You'll see everything that we are doing there. Gold futures are down about $9.20. If you've been an In The Money Stocks member, you should have no surprise about this. We had a resistance level around 111 on the GLD. And um, since that point, it has pulled back rather sharply. Um, also, we have crude oil down 26 cents today to $44.96 a barrel. Again, the USO is just floundering around or the same level it's been for quite a while. So no play there, but we're going to be watching that intraday once the opening bell rings. So with that said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day. Once again, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. You'll see everything that we are doing in the market. And again, uh, we're, having, we're having a splendid 2015, and we're going to look to keep that going. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day. We'll see you on the charts.